clapping, you have really got to hand it to yourselves, eh? <laughs> my apologies there, I've just had to bring you all up to my level. <laughs> Guess I'm no longer above you now. Anyway. <sighs> this is ironic, isn't it? <laughs> I've, I've forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> I thought it was just actors that had to memorise stuff. But then again, if you give me a million quid... I'd memorize the whole blooming Bible, you know? Let there be light! Entertainment! <laughs> and you know, it's customary as an audience member, if you are entertained, to clap. It wakes up the ones that weren't. And all your applause, you sounded like the end of the first movement of a concerto. You're relieved oh, that the supposed torture is over with. But then they just bang, start back up again with the second movement and just go away. Granted, though, it's different than what's come before. It's, it's quieter, and it's a bit slower, and actually really just a wee bit boring. So, so to prevent me from becoming that, let me uh, pose you this question. Why are we here? <laughs> why, are, why are any of us here? I mean, it is a pretty deep question, man. <laughs> oh, oh, perhaps even a bit too deep for me. <laughs> and you may not want to dive down, you know, this existential rabbit hole this early on a Sunday afternoon because you've got work in the morning and that's enough existential dread within itself. <laughs> I mean, I know why I'm here, I think. I mean, I decided to stand up on stage and talk to a room full of people in the hopes that they'd find me somewhat fluorescently amusing. In other words, good light entertainment. <laughs> and you know, it's customary for a good light entertainer to have picked on an unsuspecting member of the audience. <laughs> By now. Hello, what's your name? Uh, I'm Angus. And what do you do, Angus? <laughs> uh, I do maps and things. Good, Angus. You do maps. And what's your date of birth, job, social security number, and mother's maiden name? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> don't, you don't have to answer that. It's all right. <laughs> I'm not an angler, I promise. And, you know, even if I was, would that, would that make a difference? I mean, would you do something just because someone told you to do it? Yes, yes, you would. <laughs> I mean, it's called peer pressure, and it's the only reason why Darren Brown exists. <laughs> and apart from yourself, the, you know, the ones who put the most pressure on you are the people that raised you. Parental figures are masters of manipulation. I mean, who else can tell you what time to go to bed, when they'll drag you up out of bed, and even what to wear? Can't you tell? <laughs> Although, actually, this shirt isn't iron, so I've branched out quite a bit. <laughs> branched out, you know, I mean, or up, as some would say, because, you know, I'm quite tall, <laughs> and somehow, you know, become an adult, and as an adult, you can do what you want, you have no bedtime, no parents telling you bedtime, so weekdays, well, hey, you can stay up late all day, because you've got work that you're supposed to be doing that was due back in Easter of 2009. <laughs> Primary one was a very tough year. <laughs> then, oh then, then there's the weekend. Yes, the weekend. You can stay in bed all day because you have no energy to do anything because you've been staying up doing the work that was during Easter of 2009 and it's still not been done yet. <laughs> there's always, because there's always so many, you know, thoughts and ideas evolving, spiralling up here which means I'm perpetually paralysed by possibilities. Even writing this, you know, there's so many, an infinite amount of things you can say in five minutes. So how are you supposed to settle on one and deem it the best when you know that your best is never good enough? So you sock. Because uh, a well-polished pile of manure is still just a lot of shit at the end of the day. <sighs> Socrates was poisoned by his peers for pestering them with these pedantic philosophical ponderings. So I'm glad you're a nicer audience tonight and that, and that I didn't sell many tickets. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, the truth is, 
unless you're, you know, staggering about in a trench coat, everyone in this room is an adult. And as an adult, you should be able to do things without worry of judgment from other people. No one can forbid you from asking these deep questions out loud in your own time and indirectly on those who are forced to listen to you. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> no one should forbid what you love unless it's homophobic or illegal, really. And I love classical music, so back off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I've just, just remembered what I was, uh, was going to say at the start. <sighs> Never let a wannabe comedian force you to keep clapping when they come onto the stage. <laughs> but have the decency to do it when they go off. Thank you very much. Sula McDonald, Sula, wait here for your photo opportunity. <laughs> Where are you? There you are, Matt.